All right, you guys, so I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to just demo that I can write numbers um, in the order that they're supposed to go. Um, and I'm going to explain to you how you know that what I'm talking to you about my math resistance is trauma and not a disability. Okay, and we'll talk about the difference. But for now, um, 90, I'll say it first, 90,000... Um, Eight hundred and seventy-five. That's like um three thousand seven hundred and four point twenty-five. Three thousand seven hundred four point twenty. Okay, um, negative uh, point zero 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 five seven. Okay, so okay, right, and um, so that's that. So if you look at my transcript, you'll see that I was in AP Physics up until my senior year in um, high school and um, actually got admitted to a, a Pac-10 university uh, based on physics, actually, and then was like, what the hell, you're not going to be a physicist. So, uh, and had already planned to um, double major or minor in um environmental science so and then just totally switched to this but how why how is it how do you explain that that i was able to get into a class of advanced students um being that like 75 percent of physics is math and i'm telling you it's that the pressure is off that's the difference in physics you're not just sitting there throwing numbers and going get them right get them right get them right you're saying instead are all kinds of concepts like, um, you know, the, the centrifugal force or um, the, uh, you know, whatever. The, this is the deceleration rate. Um, this is the velocity. This is the, um, you know, um, temperature of this or... Um, this is how circuits work or whatever the concept is. And then, oh, by the way, you need to have this um, equation to get to the end of the concept. But don't you see how the pressure is different? In math, it's, you know, 3 plus 7 equals 10. That's it. That's the whole question. Either you're right or you're wrong. And there's no in between. The, my brain goes, no, no. I don't want to, just I don't want to. But in physics, I'm like, oh, so the math is kind of a side thing of like, we're really just talking about at what angle is this tree that fell and how many meters out will it land? You know, oh, so that's what we're figuring out. Now my mind goes, we're talking about a tree, not math. Oh, and incidentally, I'm going to have to do this problem on the side to figure that out. Yeah, whatever. So that kind of proves to you it can't be whatever it is that you guys said, disorder or, or disability or whatever, and have been an AP physics student, um, you know, on my GPA for, um, the times that I was in AP physics, um, I don't know, I know certainly one of them was a 4.0 for the whole, for all of them. I don't know. You'd have to check. The records are out there somewhere. Go check. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I didn't just, wasn't just in AP Physics. I'm also was doing well in it. So that's why it's a pressure difference. And I actually love physics. I love it. I know that Donovan liked to talk all day about his wheels and stuff, very specific things, and I'd be like, 
have your moment to shine, you know, have your moment to shine. You certainly dominate the conversation. And I just sat there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but I actually really like it. I've always really liked physics and I've, it has, I used to love math when I was little, I used to love the adventure of math before the pressure was on. And I would think it was fun <laughs> to go on my little math adventures to figure out whatever it was. And that, love for it went on to physics and then stayed far behind from math. And I don't even want to talk about math. My brain does not want to do math. That is like the last thing I ever want to do. And then you guys come up to me and flash numbers at me. And also I should also tell you that when I would get, this does not help traumas. When I would come home, of course she'll deny it, but of course she would. When I would come home and if I ever had an error on any math test, I would get beaten for that. Mm -hmm. I used to hide my test <laughs> if ever I had anything wrong. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't help anything. So, um, but that was only up until the fifth grade. And I didn't have my um, total meltdown until like the eighth grade. So I guess whatever it was, all computing, this is this is the result of that. But either way, in physics, I think I'll always love physics because it didn't damage me with that.